In this video, I'll be solving January 2020, Paper 2, Question 8. Part A. Solve the pair of simultaneous equations for 4 marks. So, I'm going to call this equation here, equation 1. And I'll call this equation here, equation 2. And uh, I will substitute here, equation 2, into equation 1. So, I'll write here, sub equation 2 into equation 1. So. This becomes here y squared plus 2y plus 11 is equal to, now wherever I see x here, I'm going to replace it with 5 minus 3y. Now I want to take these terms to the left hand side of the equation to make the right hand side equal to 0. So this becomes here y squared plus 2y plus 3y plus 11 minus 5 is equal to 0. Now we're going to simplify. So this becomes here y squared plus 5y plus 6 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factorize this quadratic equation here. 1 multiplied by 6 is 6. Factors of 6 that will give us sum of 5. I will use 2 and 3. So this becomes here y squared plus 2y plus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. The ATF of the first two terms here is y. So this is y, open brackets, y squared divided by y here is y, plus 2y divided by y here is 2. Repeat the brackets. This is y plus 2. This is equal to 0. I'll take the third term and divide it by the first term in brackets here. So this is 3y divided by y. This gives here positive 3. I'm going to factor out the brackets here. So this is y plus 2. And I'll place the remaining terms in a bracket here. So this is y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we're going to solve here for y. So y plus 2 is equal to 0. y is equal to minus 2. Or y plus 3 is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 3. Now that I've found the y values, I need to find the x values. So I'm going to substitute here y is equal to minus 2 into equation 2. Now you can use equation 1, but notice that because this is a nonlinear equation, it's harder to solve. So Use equation 2. So this will be here. x is equal to 5 minus 3y. x is equal to 5 minus 3 open brackets minus 2. x here is equal to 5 plus 6. x is equal to 11. And I'm going to substitute here now. y is equal to minus 3 into equation 2. So we have here that x is equal to 5 minus 3y, x is equal to 5 minus 3, open brackets minus 3, x is equal to 5 plus 9, x is equal to 14. Alright, so therefore, when x is equal to 11, y is equal to minus 2. And when x is equal to 14, y is equal to minus 3. Part B. The function f is defined as follows. f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 8x minus 2. Part 1. Express f of x in the form a open brackets x plus h all squared plus k, where a, h, and k are constants for 3 marks. Now, Anytime they ask us to express any quadratic function in the form a open brackets x plus h all squared plus k, we need to complete the square. I'm going to be using here the formula method to complete the square. Please note that you could use the method of factoring as well. So the first thing I'm going to do here is identify the values of a, b, and c. So a here is the coefficient of x squared, which is 4. B is the coefficient of x which is minus 8 and c is the constant term minus 2. 
Now you need to be able to recall these formulae. A chair is B over 2A and K is 4AC minus B squared all over 4A. So let's substitute in here. This is minus 8 over 2 multiplied by 4, which is minus 8 divided by 8, which is equal to minus 1. And substituting again here, this is 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied here by minus 2 minus minus 8 squared all over 4 multiplied by 4. 4 fours are 16. 16 multiplied by minus 2 is minus 32 minus minus 8 squared here is 64. All over 4 fours are 16. Minus 32 minus 64 here is minus 96. Divided here by 16, which is equal to minus 6. Okay, so the general form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c. And this is equal to, in the completed square form, a open brackets x plus h all squared plus k. So given the quadratic function here, we have here 4x squared minus 8x minus 2 is equal to, the value of a here is 4, x, h here is minus 1, so this is x plus minus 1 is minus 1 squared, and plus k plus minus 6 here is minus 6. Part b2. State the minimum value of f of x for one mark. Now the minimum value of f of x, f of x min is equal to k, which is equal to minus 6. B part 3. Determine the equation of the axis of symmetry for one mark. Now the equation of the axis of symmetry is given by x is equal to minus h. So I'm going to substitute here h, and h here is minus 1, so x here is equal to 1. Part C. The speed time graph below not drawn to scale shows the three-stage journey of a car over a period of 40 seconds. Determine the acceleration of the car for each of the following stages of the journey for three marks. Stage 2. Now, the gradient of a speed time graph will give the acceleration. And in stage 2 here, we have a horizontal line. And the gradient of a horizontal line is 0. So therefore, the acceleration is 0 meters per second squared. So I could write here, acceleration is 0 meters per second squared. Stage 3. Now, in stage 3 here, I will identify the coordinates of two points here. So this will be 40, 0. And this here will be 32, 12. And I will use those two points to calculate the gradient. So the acceleration is equal to the gradient, which is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Substituting in the values here, we have 0 minus 12 all over 40 minus 32. This is minus 12 over 8, which is equal to minus 3 over 2, or minus 1.5. So therefore, the acceleration is equal to minus 1.5 meters per second squared.